I, we're probably not going to be able to get to these two before I go back into the gameplay. I want to get as much Atomic Heart gameplay done as possible. So I do want to watch this Sunny V2 video because uh, it's uh, it's something that I parrot a lot. This is some of the worst apology videos on the internet. I, 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 we probably already know the vast majority is me and Chaos and Burrito, so many other people. We talk, we laugh at a lot of apology videos on the internet because people just can't freaking shut up. <laughs> Even when you're the one that messed up, they have to make it about themselves. It's like, dude, just shut your mouth, Im improve, and make better content. That's the best apology ever. Just, just be better. Done. No one cares about words. Words mean nothing. Your actions create the person. So, this did, and, and, and just and, and since I've since I've said it so many times on the stream as well and to other people, I, I like this helps me drive the point home, I guess. And uh, uh, you know, just let's just take a look at some examples of why apologizing after messing up big time is such a terrible idea. And you should just stop. You should just be off the internet, fix yourself, get back on when you're you're you've you've improved as a person, and you can you know continue to do what you do. Gonna rank YouTube's 10 Please worst subscribe to Sunny V2, one of the absolute best VTubers right. on the platform. So let's begin by sure. looking at Rice Guy. But yeah, somebody asked me who my favorite YouTuber was earlier. Papa Meat. Papa Meat. Such a big contender. Just saying, Sunny V2, another big contender. But Papa Meat, just because we were talking about it earlier, huge, huge contender for my number one spot on YouTube. Just saying. Um, whose trash apology went by the name of This Dude Calls Me Out for Mystery Unboxing. Ricegum's apology referred to a different video from three days prior, titled How I Got AirPods for $4, Rice in which he promoted a mystery Dude box gambling site, freaking, while making it sound as though uh, the website was way back an easy when. way to make money. PewDiePie because Ricegum had a music young video audience, he'd be caught out by H3H3 Productions and PewDiePie for promoting gambling to children. With Ethan, my dude, I love you. Great. Dude, you... It, uh, Ela, your clothing brand, amazing. I love her clothing brand. Teddy Fresh is so good. Ethan, it's, you, you can get rid of the politics, dude. Like, stop trying. Like, it, it, it looks like it, it. I feel like he it, he messes up so often. It's like, bro, you need to chill, dude. With Rice Gum's response <laughs> coming in the days following these call-out videos. His apology began on terrible footing, as instead of admitting any drama kind of alert. wrongdoing, he'd state that he was justified in I'm doing the video. I'm not a big fan of drama alert, but I gotta, I gotta give respect to the hustle that guy Before going on to state that he wasn't the first YouTuber to Game, promote the website. Rice Gum then concluded I, you can't the video by giving dude, out hustles. multiple dude, Amazon hustles. gift card codes. There's nothing I can really do but say sorry and give you these like, Amazon gift cards. Like, how do you piss off everyone and still stay on the platform? Only each code had already it. expired by the time the dude, video smart went dude. live. Smart dude. Beginning your apology by bragging about money before yeah, going on to offer your old expired gift cards. He literally couldn't do a cards. single video Definitely without bragging about how much money he has. Apology. However, the video was short and sweet. It felt as though it was consistent with Ricegum's personality the and the argument about other YouTubers promoting the site before him was actually a pretty reasonable point. Ricegum was also smart enough to keep his cool throughout the whole video, which Shane Dawson wasn't able to do, whose incredibly volatile state led to YouTube's ninth worst apology video. Taking accountability began with Shane stating Shane. that emotionally chucking on a webcam and apologizing was stupid and childish. And that is stupid. That is something that a child does. Not something that a 31 year old man does. That's not, that's not good. Although this is exactly what he'd do over the following 20. And, and that's exactly the problem there. Like, who was it that recently made another apology? Oh goodness. I, I, I can't remember specifically, but the vast majority of apologies is something like, guys, what I did was wrong, and that's not something, that's not me, that's not something I would, it's like, yes it is, y yes it is, that is you, that's why you did it, stop trying to pretend, like, all they do is show up and try to sweep everything under the rug, it doesn't work, that makes you look a hundred times worse, uh, you are, you are far, in my opinion, the, when you go up, if you do something bad, and you, and you don't own up to it, and no, coming on, like, guys, that's not me. That's not who I want to be. That's not who I am inside. It's like, no, that's not owning up to it. It's not. Guys, I know. I'm terrible. I'm horrible. That was... It, it was cringe. The, it's it's I, a bad take. I'm an idiot. I've learned that now. I, I promise you, I will change in the future. Because that... Yeah, no. Looking back, it's, it's embarrassing that I did that. I, I'm an idiot. Done. Move on. You're done. Go make more content. Stop. Stop. Like, no one cares about what you say. 
Your words mean nothing because your actions speak so much louder, dude. Minutes. Shane was apologizing for and the jokes he made case, during his tenure. And of course, in this case, he just keeps going, which is way worse, you know, even then. Because that, he was <laughs> that makes feelings, you a liar on top of everything. The whole video used manipulative language and felt as though it was coming from a point of total desperation. I am so sorry. I am so sorry to anybody that saw that. It's something that I shouldn't even be able to get out of. I should lose everything for that. Shane used all the classic buzz phrases such as, I will educate myself. Don't give myself them more ammo. Do what are you doing? I, don't know who that person is anymore. <laughs> I should lose everything, then lose it. You can do it. Delete the channel. <laughs> like, you see what I mean? Your words are hollow. They're always going to ring hollow. Even your biggest fans are, are it's going to ring hollow in their ear. And I'm not saying, please, I'm not saying anyone cancel anyone. Da, 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 da. No, absolutely not. There's no point. It's not going to do anything either. It's just like the Hogwarts legacy thing. You're, you're, you can't cancel anything. It's just impossible. It's, and therefore, the whole video just feels funny. like a pathetic template to get it's hate just, off like, his we, back. Like, no matter what you say, it's going to ring hollow. That's what I'm trying to say his own here. terminology to apply to his specific situation. The hypocrisy continued into the end of the video when Shane stated that being defensive was a poor way to make changes. I'm going to go on the defensive. And that's not a good way to live. And it's not a good way to to grow. Yet he seemed completely unaware that his entire video was defensive in response to the drama that he had found himself in. However, at least Shane didn't insinuate that his audience was stupid, as when the Fine Brothers uploaded their awful apology. Oh goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, I used to be a big fan of these dudes. Legit. Uh, the longer I was a fan of them, the less I was a fan of them. Because I started to find out how they treated their reactors. I found out how they treated, like, just those, those, like, a lot of those kids, a lot of those people that reacted hate their guts for good reason. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. You guys can check out, out on your own. That's a whole other freaking Apology conversation. That accidentally insult the entirety of YouTube. But, of course, on top of that, they tried the to take over YouTube with their kids the react entire word react. And we'll post a video in. They, they literally tried to make a pyramid scheme on the word react like hey guys if you want to make react videos on youtube you could totally do it but it has to be under our umbrella it has to be under our like name so we're gonna get a a, a, a cut of the pie it's like okay okay so then you're at the top and then and anyone else that signs up let's say three people sign up one there one there one there so you're at the top one there one there one there and then you know they they, they they're you're gonna get a cut from them it's like wait, wait that's a that's a that's a that's a pyramid my dude what it's like <laughs> it's like no it doesn't work that way. You can't you can't just take over a word like, you know, Activision Blizzard King that literally holds the right to the word king in case no one knows. In early 2016, simply titled React World, in which it sounded like the Fine Brothers were trying to copyright any kind of YouTube reaction video. As a result of their poorly crafted and concept, they'd yeah. receive hate from Again, every corner of the copyright, internet, prompting what we're now calling the eighth worst a apology sin on the in internet. YouTube history. A cardinal the sin, abusing copyright, a cardinal sin that their on video the platform, was and it should poorly, be. And that they never plan on trying to copyright YouTube's reaction genre. Except First that they did copyright it. We're sorry for confusing people they, by they, using they pushed for the copyright. like our reaction react format we were never trying to say our react format because they own every it. video or someone reacts to something else is something we would try to control however despite stating this the two would then go on to explain Imagine that they someone had trying to control taken down the other internet. reaction content on, in the past while continuing to imply that the audience was stupid for being unable to comprehend the concept laid out in their initial react world video just because we have or might get trademarks doesn't mean we're going to run around and start taking down videos we're sorry hey guys just because I'm pointing my force multiplier on you, that doesn't mean I'm going to use it. That's like a Sneeko argument, right? <laughs> well, just because I was dancing on the video, you know, threatening to come down to, to Charlie's friggin' house and, and pop him, you know, like, that doesn't mean I was going to do it. <laughs> Sorry that you're too stupid to understand how this works. Is Yeah, and all those people that bought like 300 rounds of, of, of 556 and just kept it at their house and then loaded it up onto their car with, you know, 24 different, uh, you know, other force multipliers. Yeah, it doesn't mean they're gonna use it. <laughs> it's basically the sum of this apology in one sentence. So yeah, classic arrogant non-apology. At the end of the day, the Fine Brothers got off lightly as their initial mistake. Chaos, when are we going to the range, bro? What happened? 
Let's <laughs> just start it. wasn't all that big of a deal. <laughs> However, the same couldn't be said for Travis Scott, who posted the seventh worst apology after 10 people died at his Astro World concert. Yeah, make that trip. It happened soon, in November like soon, 2021. Soon. On the real, real? Despite everybody in the crowd chanting to stop the show, where Travis Before Scott get continued, back to my which again. ultimately resulted in the 10 fatalities alongside 500 other injuries. Well, I'm getting close. My As the news of the tragedy be, began to go viral, right over to me, Travis and then I'm was planning go right his apology it. and would take to Instagram with someone of an unconventional approach. He was seemingly trying to avoid having his face clickbaited by the media and therefore recorded a short video in black and white under bad lighting from a bad angle with his eyes closed and his hand covering his face for the majority of the video. This that was is the clickbait right off the bat, bro. Play. It looks However, like you're sad. Also made for right there. Extremely Look at that. I just clickbaited you. Watch, 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 this, angle. watch this. Watch this. Travis Scott in, in, under, it has depression. Clickbait. Done. Like... <laughs> You cannot control the internet, my his dude. Eyes what are you and talking covering about? His face for the majority of the video. This it's was all certainly clickbait. a 200 IQ play. However, it also made for an extremely terrible, unpleasant viewing experience and resulted in comments such as, Travis Scott is clearly much more focused on his headache than his apology. There well you go, clickbait. He forehead more respect than the people who died of a horrible, painful death as a direct con- Just Literally co copy paste this on a YouTube video. Done. Consequence click of his bait. inaction. Like you can't, you the can't words he used in the bait, video bro. weren't much Just the fact that you're Travis Scott, like your image is already this click comment, bait. His apology is basically, damn, that's crazy. I just want to send out prayers to the to the ones that was lost last night. I mean, yeah, he really I'm does look. Devastated. I could never imagine anything like this just happening. The he really does look like he's just annoyed with it all. Travis like, is he... talking like he wasn't there. It's like the dude just woke up and was like my statement stands you should have just shut up you should have just kept making better content you should have you should like oh man people died at travis scott's concert the apology was certainly bizarre however it I'll wasn't really really a strange 100 it was not <laughs> right 100 it was not 100 his fault however as someone who is entertaining you do have to pay attention to the audience in in, in you know like there's no way to avoid that stuff and 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 uh a lot of very well respected artists have literally like oh goodness who was it it might have even been him actually who like at one point there was like five mosh pits happening at their concert and he literally stopped the concert and told everyone like you guys are freaking idiots why are there five freaking mosh pits make one freaking mosh pit like this it, this idiot right here standing there is like in a one separate mosh pit when she could just turn around and see another mo a much larger mosh pit there why are you starting your own mosh pit like it's it's hilarious but yes like control Control the environment. It's your show. Control the environment. You have to. You have to like dictate stuff. You know, like same thing when you go. To, you know, uh, uh, surfing, crowd surfing. That's something you have to control. You have to like. You can't just all of a sudden be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go surf and jump in there and then freaking body slam the freaking ground." You know, because nobody's gonna carry you. But if you make it known to the audience, all right, bros, who's about to carry me? I'm about to go surfing. Suddenly you start seeing people's hands go up. You know where your safe path is. You, you got to learn how to control the, the show. Just the sixth worst apology you by You are a director Kenner, as much as the YouTube's director, first creator which to if you don't have a director for your concert, what are you poem. doing? The apology you know? came in response to being called out for plagiarism and seemingly as an overcompensation for trying to be original. Don't Simply know Kenner anything about this, actually. a half minute poem using nothing but incredibly deep metaphor. Am Am I a human? Am I a monster? Or am I something in between? Now to you are way too full of yourself. Just from that statement, I don't know you and I have no problems with you whatsoever. You're too full of yourself. This is not a good apology video. Right off the bat. You, 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 you purposefully decided to make yourself up like that for the apology video and you're starting off very heavily implying that you are being called a monster being called all this other stuff and trying to humanize yourself don't try to humanize yourself we know you're human and humans are very flawed that's why we're mad at you you get what i'm saying like it doesn't work. It's just it's just bad. Kenneth's credit bad PR. The poem was pretty weak. <laughs> There's a reason why PR people get paid to do what they do. Written. However, <laughs> using it to apologize felt like an unbelievably strange. Even her apology has to be the aesthetic. There you go. There you go. <laughs> sincere. Agreed. To write a poem, rehearse it. Those fake facial expressions and background music, babe. That's not it's sincere. Not sincere. An apology in poetry is me in my rawest form, even though I'm not raw at all, because I rehearse this instead of just talking to you guys yeah. naturally. That it's, poem it's, is so gawny. Still trying to be aesthetic and an apology video. The video was so bad that Kenna then posted another apology video Turning over to say leave. sorry. 
Turning Over a New Leaf. Again, what a terrible title. <laughs> You're trying to make yourself the protagonist. Turning over a new leaf in this epic adventure of me becoming a good person. <laughs> for the first one, Come and on, as summarized dude. by this comment, if you have to make an apology video for an apology video, it yeah. might be time to take a break Stop. from YouTube. However, at least Stop. simply Kenna had the chance to take a break voluntarily, as when T. Martin posted his awful apology, the T. audience Martin? stopped watching completely. I've watched a lot of T. Martin. I didn't know T. Martin got into silly drama. In the lead up to what we're calling the fifth worst apology in YouTube history, To be history, fair, I haven't really T. watched Martin them that much. promoted a website called CSGO Lotto, oh. claiming that he found the site at random and was able to use it to win expensive CSGO items. Although it wouldn't- Am I confusing T. Martin for someone? I'm confusing him for Ali A. Ali A is the Call of Duty guy. I'm so sorry, Ali A. I, I did not mean to do that. I, I just- I, I am, as you can- I have- attention problems and I also have freaking memory problems so that's you both have letters in your name and it just it just long blends in my mind <laughs> was exposed as being one of I'm the so owners sorry. of the website prompting the now infamous I'm sorry video Ellie the apology good, began on fake duty, manipulative uh, footing info, as Tima uh, sat guy. there talking to his dog I don't about know if he's still doing uh, that kind of stuff but uh, 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 Cooper I have no idea so actually no I don't know very much about Tima however it's hard to tell exactly how the I'm not a huge CSGO guy though I did play it for quite a while in college sit there I played it in class during college with other students. <laughs> I'm horrible. Yeah, and spend two minutes telling It was a career college, all right? I didn't freaking... My connection to CSGO It wasn't like I wasn't going in there for my master's of degree. Public records, <laughs> the company was first organized in December of 2015. This is and always has been a clearly stated policy. He barely even... A flat out, flat out, flat out. Like, I, I think... Uh, I think you should be able to put lottery mechanics in video games. I think it should not be... Rated T for teen, even rated M for mature would like I would be like, eh, can we just give it a whole different designation? This game has gambling in it, like A for addiction, you know? <laughs> a, I know well, there's already the A for adult content, uh, which is like for a uh, you know hentai games, things of that nature. So that's already a rating in the United States, A for adults. Though I don't know if that's only for uh, cinema or if that's also for video games. Uh, but M for mature is 17 plus for those who don't know are outside of the states. Uh, so I think it should have its own category, and I think it should be, like, if you have any kind of lottery mechanics, any kind of gambling mechanics, I think it should be its own, uh, uh, its, its own rating, and it should be on the cover or somewhere, it should, it should be seen that, that this has gambling or lottery mechanics, uh, uh, EA rating, yes, Chaos, thank you so much, uh, uh, and, and so that, that, that 100%, I agree on that. Actually, Chaos, is the freaking chat box not on the freaking screen? It is. Okay, it's just on a slight delay. Got it. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll try to reduce that delay. I don't like that. I don't like that it took that long. Okay. Apologized. He's putting the blame on the people for not understanding. WTF. He basically called his fans like, stupid. Like, like, uh, like, admittedly, it's... Uh, goodness. All my family, don't pay attention for this next part, okay? Okay, so as someone who has quit alcohol, quit cigarettes, quit other things... I, <laughs> like, it's, trust me, dude. The temptation is always there. Biting at your insides, right in your core. <laughs> so it's like, no, absolutely. If, if you want to, if, if you personally, I, I feel like you should have a right to be able to avoid that stuff if you want to avoid it. So I think it, it's it's only fair that they put it somewhere that that, that might be something. So sort of like a trigger warning, which I hate that too. But in general, yeah, like it, like for me, for example, if there's anything you know, considered self-offing, I always put a trigger warning on my content. I love how just, he didn't just even the apologize people who genuinely, and basically you know, just want to said it's our fault. It didn't yes, it is something Martin that you should talk with a therapist the with if you guys are having self-harm thoughts, mansion, but with I feel like, you, like you might not be in the correct headspace but some people at least watch he was smart enough to flaunt his wealth subtly as the Liver King's terrible apology began with him blatantly bragging about how much- You disappointed me so much. Liver King, I loved you. All right, this was gonna. This one hit. This one hit home. This one really hit home. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I love the Liver King so much. He was. He was such a meme. He was so amazing. Such a Chad. And and he 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 ruined my hopes and dreams. Money he had. <laughs> Prior to the Liver King confession, I he hold consistently reiterated no that his physique illusions was natural, of me ever becoming although a big when buff more boy, plates, more but, uh, dates uploaded a video showing I love this guy. True, uh, the Liver King felt the pressure to apologize. The Liver King would begin his apology by bragging about being rich. For those for those who don't know, he is a huge proponent of natural, like natural healthy beefing up, like the absolute peak of human performance without anything except human effort. 
is basically the way he introduced himself, and then it turns out he roided it up. Before social media, that's simple. It's that I was simple. Rich and anonymous, and after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. Before going on to try and convince the audience, again, just terrible, terrible way to start. That he never planned. Hey guys, I know I lied to all of you to buy my products. I just want to let you know I'm filthy stinking rich. All right, that's it, right? That's all we needed for the apology. We good? Can we move on? We're all... Oh, more? You want more? Oh, goodness. All right. Uh, I'm no longer anonymous. Everyone knows my name. I'm famous. Uh, hmm. I don't think that's it. I don't, I don't know what else to say. You're not becoming <laughs> famous. <laughs> Despite having grown the brand, I never expected to get caught. It's basically what he just said. The most recognizable feature. The Liver King then goes on a claim that his persona was nothing more than an experiment to help struggling teenagers. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message. Our people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition, and. By the way, somebody please correct me. I don't know if it actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I, I believe it was roiding up. However. It might have been like supplements or something. I I, I realize how bad of a freaking uh, uh, jump that is. Uh, I might be misremembering that, so I we will have Life, to our young double check and verify that, please. Feeling lost, weak, and submissive. Which felt like a cliche cop out to shift the blame from what he was being accused of. The beginning of the apology was bad. The magnitude of the initial lie was bad, and the need for the apology was almost non-existent in the first place. However, because the Liver King was able to finish the video with a couple of reasonable points, he's avoided being any higher on this list. Besides, it's almost impossible to have an. Yeah, like it, it's it's. Like, I'm not, like, uh, what's the best way to say it? Like, dude, if you're at, and, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he pointed out the fact that he was getting on an age, and so keeping up that, you know, like I, we were talking about this earlier, that freaking Jason Momoa, The Rock, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson freaking physique, like, it, it can be really difficult, really impossible. Yes, that's why it demands a certain amount of respect for people who can, you know, get to that level of supermodel. Uh, you know, it, it deserves respect. The problem is you lied about it. And not only did you lie about it, so that's, that's already based bad, a whole nother level is you sold products based on it. A whole nother level, you have to understand that, yeah, you might have done this to bring inspiration to teenagers, but now that you they, the, the lie has come out, you have, dis you have ruined those teenagers' aspirations and hopes. Like, you, you did far more damage than good in the long run. And I feel like if either you were a bit more honest with it, or just you know the the, the cor you know the correct politically correct thing would be don't do drugs period don't get in on that no duh but then on top of that if you were honest about what like the fact that you're like I do take quote unquote supplements like I'm not saying lie about stuff but if you said you were taking supplements if you said guys I I have to do certain things to to meet this physique because of my age you would have given more people hope you would have even given older people hope that they could reach your level of, of bulkiness and there you go more sales to your product Hon honesty. Honesty, and as someone who, who, who's been a manager, and, and, and you know, even chaos to a certain degree can attest to this, I've always told every single business partner, every single business, anyone who talks about it, honesty is one of the best selling points, dude. If, if I know what I'm buying and I can trust you because you are genuinely honest, I, ha I, I will purchase whatever you're trying to sell a hundred times better than somebody who I feel is disingenuous. Like, that's why I hated, so when I used to sell life insurance, I hated a lot of people that sold life insurance. It's one of the main reasons I got out. An apology worse than the one posted by Social Repose. The video had been uploaded after that his ex-girlfriend publicly accused him of cheating. genuinely a good decision. I genuinely so believe you should have it, Social Repose wanted to share you. his side However, of the story. Doing it's also disingenuous for people to try to force you into something that might not be in your best economic interest at that time. So in a video titled Ready, and that's really I'm where idiot. I had problems The with. apology began with the most unemotional attempt at saying, Sorry, they would still try to convince you to get in on the lowest possible pretty, payment, uh, and it's like you, you might not be financially like in a good place I, for that I at the moment. I, I understand I getting deeply, commission, I do deeply regret but come on, before he'd gone to explain that he had cheated well. in his previous relationship, I did cheat on her just like I did my ex girlfriend, and it was therefore the girlfriend's fault for not knowing that he was going to cheat again. And she kind of took me on with with the thought a garbage that she person. could fix me, and that everyone did warn. Here's the thing. Okay, like you want like you want to talk brass tacks? Okay, there's truth behind what you said. She should have known you were gonna cheat again. Yeah, if somebody cheats, people don't change. Flat out, people do not change. Like they can improve, but they don't change. If this guy cheated, that means he 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 holds absolute. He does not hold a relationship in any higher level. He does he like flat out. 
I always said, if you fall in love with two people, never stay with the first person. Because you would have never fallen in love with another person if you genuinely loved that first person. On her and like, I, flat out. I couldn't stay faithful, and here we are. Throughout the video, Social Repose seems so proud of how broken he let is the, as a let, person. Especially if you're Clearly, dating two people, let the first one go. Issues. You're just problems. like, Which was you're going to get caught eventually. Like, you're just, you're just making their life worse. Incredible YouTube channel. I'm so Move deeply on. entrenched like, I don't even know why you're still with him. in Social Repose, just as an entity. I mean, I know why you're still with him. It comes first. It comes before all my... Besides, why do you want to... Why do you want to lay? Ladies, bro, you really want two out output of income? <laughs> Love and, and that goes out to the ladies as well. Family Why are you dating two dudes? This is my Unless life. they're the ones inputting the However, income. However, at least social no point. Why do you want that headache? <laughs> saying sorry, as Sienna May's apology was so bad that people Sorry, began to question if she was even have... saying sorry at all. Not that I'm a huge Sienna was one of TikTok's fastest growing creators until I've had like two serious relationships in my entire life. After which she'd take a break from the internet and return with what we're calling the second worst apology in YouTube history. It began with the explanation that taking a month off social media was the most difficult month of Sienna's life before she'd gone to state that her purpose in life was to post TikTok dances and untouched photos of herself. Throughout the video, Sienna implied that her youth excused her from any wrongdoing, although the worst part was that she never even apologized and rather spent more than half what of the video playing of? what she called a relatable Sam Smith song while doing a choreographed dance with the goal of inspiring her audience. The stupidity of the apology is best summarized by this comment reading, the fact that she and her team watched this and said, yeah, this is a good idea is hilarious to me. All of them together make one brain cell. Although Sienna's one brain cell was still significantly more than Sorry, the amount. Let's go back. What, what, what was she accused song. of? Youth excused was it just her from any making a terrible life video? Before she'd gone to state that her purpose in life was to post TikTok dances and untouched photos of herself. Throughout the video, Sienna implied that her youth excused her from any wrongdoing, although the worst part was that she never I mean, even admittedly, apologized yeah, you're just sort of getting rather spent more than half of the video in, in that, playing what she called attire, a relatable really. Sam Smith but... song while doing a choreographed dance with the goal of inspiring her audience. The stupidity of the apology is best I don't, summarized I don't get by it. this Why are people reading. mad at that one? The fact that what she, she and her team watched this and said, yeah, this is a good idea is hilarious to me. Probably. All of them together make one brain cell. Although Sienna's one brain yeah, cell no, was no, still I mean, in significantly... In general, whatever she was accused of, like, I might be confused here, I might be missing something, but whatever. In general, yeah, you're, you're the fact that you're young is not an excuse. Like, it... it, it, it what are you talking about? Like, like you think you think I've ever been like, guys? I was young when I did that. I was stupid. It's like, yes, young people do stupid things all the time. One hundred percent. We all understand that. Why are you using that as an excuse? You should be apologizing for it and moving on. We all know how young people are. We're young people are friggin' morons. I'm a moron. Everyone's a friggin' moron. Look at me. <laughs> you know, like one hundred percent. We all know that. that that doesn't excuse the bad thing you did. But in reality, like, yes, it is a cause. It is a reason why you did what you did. One hundred percent. We can all understand that. Don't use it as an excuse, though. It really isn't. It definitely is a cause. It definitely is an influence on it. It definitely may be the reason why you were getting into it. But you can't use that as an excuse and just be like, I just clear my name. Done. Easy. Like, no. More than the amount that Laura Lee had when she'd post almost objectively the worst apology in YouTube history. Laura Lee posted the apology in response to some old tweets, although she would have been significantly better off remaining silent, as there was nothing within this video that wasn't a complete Now, what were the trivia. tweets? Laura Lee posted the apology in response to some old tweets, Racist although tweets. she would have okay. been significantly better off remaining silent, as there was nothing within this video that wasn't a complete travesty. She'd spend the first 30 seconds talking about about nothing besides how difficult the video was going to be. This video. Bro, like tweets are one of those things that it's like, bro, you you had so much time to not tweet it. <laughs> I, I guess it also depends on what she said. If it was like understandably like, oh, you know, she didn't really intend for that. But at the same time, I don't know what the tweet is here. But you have like, dude, it's a tweet. You have so much time to just not tweet it. You know? Yeah, it's been so hard. So much time. I'm the victim! That's all I'm hearing. Hardest things I've ever done. Before going on to completely lose I'm sorry, tweeting a racist tweet is not the hardest thing you've ever done. ...on camera while implementing all the classic phrases such as I'm so sorry to disappoint you all and I know that I'm better than that. Laura Lee cried and- Do you though? Do you know you're better than that? You tweeted it. All evidence points to the opposite here. So how do you know? Like, I'm not saying, like, and I'm not trying to just, like, uh, to push everyone. I, like, this is all, uh, like, 
I am seeing it as if I myself made a, the mistake. That's how I like to look at things. I, 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 what if I made this mistake? What would n objectively not be okay for me to do? And it's like, first of all, don't cry. You're not, you're not the victim here. If there is a victim to begin with, right? Like, depending on the racist statement. Like, you were just, like, what really comes out is the fact that people just saw that you're racist. Or you have racist tendencies. So it's like, it's less about there being a victim. It's more about what people are starting to see, sort of, like, who you are. Now, you could, you, you could take, I feel like the approach here would be, you, you show people that you are maturing and growing from this experience. You, you show them that you know you're an idiot and that you were wrong in, in, in its entirety. And then, and then you, you, you move on. You start to be the change. Change and start being the example that you should be setting out there. Just, just, just apologize, doing this isn't really doing much. And apologize some more. Although in the process, the audience noticed that there were no tears coming out of her eyes. Is this an audition? I say no tears. Literally no tears coming from her eyes, yet she keeps wiping away. I think she forgot to buy the eye drops. After yeah, everybody... see, and if nothing else... The, like, now it looks all completely fake, it all looks acted, it all looks disingenuous. So the fact that you're saying, I know I can do better, that's just disingenuous. Like, we feel like it's disingenuous because of the entire method that you recorded this video. came to realize that Laura Lee wasn't even crying. She'd take a month off YouTube to reflect, after which she'd return with an apology video for her initial apology. Noticeably less cry, cry, cry about it. Look at this. Look at the look at the look at how she frames to buy one video, items. and look how After she frames the other one. Look at this framing, right? And then realize that Laura Lee wasn't even crying. She'd and then she starts to take herself a bit more reflect. seriously. After which she'd return. And look at the framing. Look at the frame. Look at the actual <laughs> apology video for her initial apology, where she'd conclude the drama with more. End oh, suddenly she's not holding the camera herself, like like as if she's just doing this in her apartment, having an emotional time. No, no, no. She set up the studio she set up the, the nice quality shot it's not blurry it's on a nice camera they like say it's YouTube like apology it, dialogue oh my I goodness have changed so much as a human being I have you you haven't you haven't changed you can't just be like oh someone on Twitter told me that I'm racist and I've changed now no you need to show using your actions that you change I hate that so, so much. much through the situation you can't just say I you change you can't just say you're different learned so much oh my goodness dude you can't just say I changed like that's such like that's that's like okay oh goodness uh now I'm going to be one of those dudes let's let's pick someone besides the nazis uh that's like as if stalin was just like guys i've changed like can you imagine if 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 <laughs> can you imagine if stalin after the cold war was just like guys guys trust me i changed like it's just like no one believes you dude you photoshop people out of pictures that you had murdered <laughs> And, and and then we're just supposed to believe that you changed. Yeah, but guys, guys, I'm telling you I changed. I'm sorry. Like, no, dude. <laughs> like, it just, it makes zero sense to me. But the fact that they think it makes sense, like, just just really makes me feel like... And I, and, and I feel like, of course, I know, like, it, it, everyone can see that. I'm, I'm stating obvious things now. Like, the, the fact that people hated these apologies proves to me that there is faith in humanity and that, you know, people see this the same way, where it's like, it feels disingenuous, it is disingenuous, and it's a bad take. Like, just, I, like, I don't know, I've already said everything I have to say on it, but you, you get what I'm trying to speak here. It, it's like, the only good apology is to own the fact that you messed up, own the fact that you're a terrible person, promise to, to not only promise but actually act on that promise start changing start being that change start like you know, the, the classic cliche start being that change start speaking differently start being more respectful of all those around you and to, to be frank hey you might never bounce back you might never bounce back but that's that's on you you know uh and i feel like i mean look at logan paul you can you can definitely bounce back. You can definitely bounce back. Look at Count Dankula. You can definitely bounce back from a bad taste nazy joke. You're a racist joke. You get what I'm saying? You can definitely bounce back, but you sort of did a dive on your freaking on your channel the second you start putting out all these vic like I'm the victim freaking apologies, dude. Terrible. Uh yeah, I can't say I agree with anything here. I'm sure at some point I'll probably mess up in one way or another. Though I always try to be nice to absolutely every human being in any opinion, thought, whatever. I don't care. I like my whole thing is I only care about one person right here. This dude, I love him. I love him. He's awesome. He's just a really chill dude. 
and that's all I care about. <laughs> Everyone else is meh. Like, I don't have a strong opinion on. I don't hate. I don't love. I don't nothing. <laughs> you do you. I'll do me. That's my. That's how I like to live. All right, my dudes. Tell you what. We're gonna get right into some game. <laughs>